Hey guys, it's Bundy Dude here again, and guess what? You remember the Star Wars series and how, you know, Disney wasn't really in involved in the gaming scene and they didn't ever intend to be and didn't want to, and really, we're gonna overall just like drop the series, just gonna, you know, you know, bury with some dirt, uh, you know, World War II style, but, um, the two companies have established a multi-year exclusive licensing agreement to develop and publish global new games based on the Star Wars characters and storylines. Now, according to the announcement, EA will develop and publish new Star Wars titles for a core gaming audience spanning across all interactive platforms and the most popular game genres. Now, Disney will retain the rights to make Star Wars titles for the mobile and social tablet experience, including online game categories. Now, according to EA's label president, Frank Gabu, the three studios are currently working on the Star Wars games are Is Battlefield developer DICE, Dead Space developer, uh, Dead Space developer Vishiro, and Mass Effect developer Bioware. Every developer's dream of creating games for the Star Wars universe, said Gabu. Every developer's dream. And it says that these three top studios will now fulfill that dream, crafting adventures for the Star Wars fans. DICE and Vershera will produce new games, joining on the Bioware tech team, which uh, continues to develop for the, uh, the Star Wars franchise. Now, the new experiences we created may be borrowed from films, but the games will be entirely original and with all new stories and gameplays. Now, Oh wow, I'm actually surprised at this. EA's actually done something good for once in their life, or at least for once in their corrupted life. Um, I, I don't know what to think about this. This is great. Um, Disney's not dropping the Star Wars. You know, they're, they're not gonna just let everything go E-rated and, and, you know, make stupid, dumbass more Star Wars movies and ruin the series as a whole. Why not let it go to gaming and stay into that little T mature rated area? Ah, uh, ah, oh, EA, I love you again, but I will only love you for probably, I don't know, until Battlefield 4 comes out and, you know, you ruin Battlefield 4 because you didn't get dice enough time to develop that. Now, alright guys, uh, that's pretty much all I've got to sh tell, uh, talk to you guys about today. Supposedly, Star Wars is been acquired by EA, and, you know, the, as far as game licensing goes for, you know, gaming platforms, non, you know, Android-like platforms, then, yeah, it's pretty much great news with for the gaming community as a whole. The Star Wars franchise will live. Now take this time in the video to consider the Frostbite 2 engine running off Star Wars. I know, right? A sexy world, right? That's all I have to say, guys. Alright, guys, it's a bunny dude. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and peace.